What's up guys? Find some on out. So look what I found today at a garage sale, man. That's right. It's the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus. Now, I didn't know this until I found it, alright? Because I started looking them up. And I knew that the JP3 Spinosaurus is rather rare. They didn't make a ton of them. It actually had rubberized texture and all that. It's very desirable in the used market. Fetches a fair penny, right? So I was excited, man. This lady had it, and I think I gave her like five bucks for it. Because she didn't even know what it was. I was like, I'll give you five bucks. She's like, okay. And I didn't even look it up or anything to see, you know, if this was the right one. I just knew that it was rare. You know, I've seen a couple videos of people making their... Like, just showcasing up their JP3 Spinosaurus. But the problem is, man, this one is the one of the two that is not all that desirable. It's still kind of desirable, but the thing about it is it's remote controlled, okay? And the problem is, I don't have the damn control. And I actually inquired on this lady again in regards to this Spinosaurus and I asked her if she had the remote control for it and I, I, sh I sent her a photo because it's like a little egg shaped thing but to no avail man she never got back to me she was like I don't know it's my son's she was like uh, there's just a bunch of crap I have to go through and I didn't see any little egg shaped remote anywhere I was like okay so it sucks. I have this Spinosaurus without a remote and I think it is kind of often you'll find these in the used market without their remotes. You know, the remote would just get lost. So it's very stiff. It stands up really well. It's just it's it's just really stiff. And there's nothing you can I don't want to break it. I mean, it seems like it would work. You know, if I had the remote, it seems like it would work. Like, I, I think this was well kept. But I mean, look at it. Is that thing tight? Hell yeah. Look at that thing, man. It's big. So here it is next to the Bull T-Rex, for example. Uh, ooh, Bull T-Rex is bigger. But of course, the JP3 stuff was on a different scale. Because remember, the Bull T-Rex is on the Kenner scale. I do have some Kenner figures over there. I, I, maybe I won't grab them. The Kenner figures were like this tall, the human figures, but then the JP3 ones were like this tall. So they're on an entirely different scale, all right? But man, if only this were the other one, because the other one apparently is also kind of an animatronic thing, but it's not the remote controlled one. Uh, the other one, to my understanding, it does like a thrashing effect, like what the Thrasher T-Rex does, which I have as well. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere around here. Uh, I, I kind of have my JP toys scattered around right now. But the Thrasher T-Rex, you know, has that Thrasher thing. But yeah, the Spinosaurus, so do you guys have that one? Do any of you have that one? Or have you seen it? Uh, that one's really valuable. It's called like the animatronic Spinosaurus. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just, I guess this could be used as a display case. Or a display dinosaur. I don't know if they uh, remade some of the remotes. Because sometimes you'll find third parties who remake uh, remotes and things for RC cars and all that. But I think the problem is this one is just such a, uh, you know, it's a pretty small market. So I think you're kind of stuck with needing the actual OEM remote. So it says on it, 2001, Universal and Amblin. While we ink. Yeah, I think there was a few things that Hasbro outsourced to other manufacturers that were like JP related. And this is one of them in the Jurassic Park 3 days. But anyway, there it is. What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. And did you guys have this thing growing up? What's strange is, I was really into Jurassic Park when the first one came out. I was just a little duck when I went and go saw it in the theaters. And then I saw The Lost World in the theaters. But by the time I saw JP3 in the theaters, I was like, I, I think I, I was just kind of out of the phase of wanting to play with toys, I think is the thing. 
I never, I, I thought it wasn't cool, you know, to still have them in your room or on display and all that. So in those days, I just wasn't collecting the Jurassic Park stuff. I didn't miss out on much, obviously. The Jurassic Park 3 line is kind of shitty compared to the Kenner and the Lost World Hasbro line. But there were a few gems in it, I think. Uh, the, the Tronodons or whatever were okay. And there were a few other gems, like the Spinosaurus. Wasn't there something else? After that, Hasbro released like a 2009 line. This is years after Jurassic Park 3, and a lot of you guys know about this stuff. They made a cool like Allosaurus figure and some other like Pachy Rhinosaurus figure or something like that. It was like a Triceratops, Styracosaurus sort of thing. And they looked awesome. Ugh. Yeah, the, um, the Allosaurus is very collectible. It's very articulate and its sculpt actually looks great. It's very valuable. You guys should look it up. It's the blue one. It's like the 2009... Jurassic Park Allosaurus or something like that. And then I think again even in 2012 They uh, released a new line and they released like the bull t-rex or something like that only it was remade a little bit And it's like red and gray And it had a like hard plastic a lot of it was hard plastic, but it still had some rubberized feature uh, They just they did a few things, but they did them right what they did But nonetheless the JP3 line I just wasn't collecting that much when it came out and I saw the movie and I thought it was bad, you know, like I was like, this isn't Jurassic Park at all. And I remember I was worried about it because it wasn't actually directed by Spielberg and the previews, it just seemed like a big monster movie. So when we saw it in the theaters, those who I was with, we were just, you know, we were disappointed big time. I was like, this movie's just plain stupid. But I mean, looking back, it is kind of fun to watch for like nostalgic purposes and just simpler times and all that. And the dinosaurs, I think, still did look pretty good. Like, wasn't Stan Winston around then? In fact, the dinosaurs looked great, didn't they, in Jurassic Park 3? Uh, I think you have the coolest looking raptors of them all. Uh, with the little frills on their head and all that, or quills or whatnot. And the Spinosaurus is as, as, as much of a monstrosity that it was. I think the Spinosaurus looked pretty cool as well. And then you had the, one of the T-Rexes, but unfortunately it didn't live very long at all. But that thing looked awesome. Yeah, these were the Stan Winston days still, so... Jurassic Park 3 had those sort of Stan Winston models, and they looked great. And then, of course, Jurassic World came out many years later, and they had the Stegosaurus with a drooping tail. And some of the dinosaurs, in my opinion, just, just looked like they were lacking from what they were in the Jurassic Park 3 days, even. But nonetheless, that was kind of my experience with Jurassic Park 3. So after seeing the movie, I was, at that time, I was like, this movie sucks, and... Jurassic Park just isn't Jurassic Park anymore without Steven Spielberg actually directing it. Yeah, granted, he's producing it or whatnot, but, I mean, he wasn't directing it. It was just like he didn't direct the uh, Jurassic World franchise. But he still might have been part of the production or whatever, probably just for marketing purposes. But after establishing that, that I just didn't really like the film, and I was too old for toys or whatever, it was like... I don't have any interest, so I never really even looked at him at the stores, maybe once or twice while walking by. But they just didn't interest me. And I didn't, they look like crap anyway. Like the T-Rex, you guys see the Jurassic Park 3 T-Rex figure? It's horrible. Uh, they had a few interesting characters. They had a Triceratops. Their Triceratops actually looked okay, even though it was very small. But more videos to come if you guys will like the video. And uh, I have plenty more figures if you want me to showcase some of them. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to showcase any specific JP dinosaur. Because I might have it. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Peace be with you.